Refugee Nation. No, it's not a music band of any kind. It's an idea. It's the idea of Jason Buzzy, who is a Silicon Valley real estate entrepreneur. And he would like to start a new country, a new country for refugees. Now, the idea is bold, and it's not traditional, and that's why he believes that it is important, because traditional solutions are not working. What he would like to do is to find some real estate somewhere in the world where a new country could be uh, established. And he says that there are certain inhabited islands in places like the Philippines, and there are also certain countries like Finland where there are large amount of areas which are not being developed and which could be used, or there are uh, places like in, maybe in the Caribbean where some of the refugee nations could share uh, the space with the existing ones. Obviously, the idea would cost a lot of money, and he's established a website which you will find at refugeenation.org where he's hoping that some other billionaires, he says he's not a billionaire, though, but people will be able to help with the billions of dollars that will be needed to establish this new nation. Now, it's probably very complicated to establish a new nation. And, and not probably, it is for certain very uh, complicated. One of the issue is who would inhabit. There's about 60 million refugees now. Hopefully, and the, the website says that it will be voluntary. There are people who are stateless. That means they essentially have no country. There are people who would prefer to return to their country, but it's, it's probably uh, impossible for them to do so. And then there are people who'd want a new start. It, the idea wouldn't apply to everybody, but uh, to a certain portion of them. And then there are things like infrastructure. If you go to a new place like an inhabited island or, who, or even an undeveloped area, well, who, what kind of infrastructure? Who would pay for it and who would decide? So the idea of self-government has already been, been established, but that does not mean that everything would work. So the questions are, well, would this be a utopia or would this be a dystopia? And probably be something in the, in the middle. But many, many issues remain. Not everything has been resolved. Uh, the idea is just a few weeks old as I'm taping this. But it has received some interesting um, comments from people who work with refugees, and it is gaining tra traction, and so it should. Thank you for listening. I'm Danielle Levy.